Good morning, good day, good afternoon. My name is Maria and I'm a customer success representative. And that's how I usually start all my demo with my clients. But today we are going to show you something very, very special. And I'm excited to share with you something that is very brand new to our company, to Osnovio. This is our new CRM system, which we just recently released. And I guess you already seen it on the platform. So today I'm going to be showing you some essential parts, how you can keep the track on your leads and how you can basically keep them in a nice, clean and easy way within your lead generation tool and within your email trip campaign tool as well. Before we start, let's get the short talk about what kind of challenging, challenging you might face with your own CRM system if you have any right now. So often we have a demos where our client says that, look, we are using our own CRM system, which is quite a little bit complicated. So it might require some tech stuff to deal with the CRM system setups. Or for example, you might not have any kind of CRM system and you're just using a Google spreadsheet, for example, where you can keep all your leads and where you basically just trying to keep a track on them, which is not also very comfortable for you and your team. Or for example, you have the CRM system, but you're looking for some kind of alternative where you can just easy keep all the your list and keep track of them. And you want to do it within one platform where you can basically use our uh, use the platform as a sales hub. So that's what I'm presenting today. I'm presenting the sales hub, uh, the Snowview sales hub, uh, and the CRM system is going to be a part of this sales hub. So um, let me show you how it works with the new CRM system. So right now we are on the prospect list. And as you can see, the prospect list that I have here will be actually added to the deals um, in, our, in our CRM system. So let me just give you step-by-step -step guide how you can basically start getting new deals into your CRM system. You can either select them in bulk by just going on your prospect list and select them all, or just select all of the prospects that you will be um, needing to add to the deal. And just click on this button from the top, create the deal, choose the pipeline, and choose the, the stage. So the first stage that you will have is going to be a lead-in stage. Let's say if I will add it to the lead in stage, now you will have the link where you can just click on the pipeline. So this is going to be the first way how you can create the deal. And they are going to show you in a simple pipeline view. If you can see, this is the pipeline number one. However, you can create multiple pipelines. And also what I wanted to show you that we have two views. So this is the pipeline view. And also we have the deals in the list view from where you can just up, you know, let's say update all of those prospects in bulk or move them from one stage to another once again in bulk. So let's actually have a good closer look into our CRM system. So let's move from the top bar and then we will talk a little bit more about the sales funnel and about the sales stage processes. So from the top panel, you can see that we have a quick button where you can add the new deal. And this is going to be a quick button just to uh, write the deal name or write the prospect name. For example, like, uh, let's say, Sean. Yeah. And also bear in mind that every deal is going to be on the first stage, which is lead in. However, you can change it straight away from this page and it's going to be saved when you are coming back. So let's move on a little bit. As I told you, we have two views. So use on the pipeline where you can easily see where your prospects are in terms of the sales journey. So you can customize those fields or those sales stages by clicking on the pipeline settings. So I have to say that every company will have their own stages, obviously, and we are giving you basically a chance to customize all of those fields so you can add new field or, or stage and also you can remove whichever stage you don't need for your company also the names of the stages can be different the colors of the stages also can be different so it's up to you to decide what's going to be the names of those sales stages for me i decided to um, start with six stages which is lead in which is the first page email sent 
reply received, meeting scheduled, meeting performed, and deal closed. Let's say if after the meeting performed, you need to add one more stage, you can just click on this button, add a stage, where you can write something, for example, needs defined or contract sign or any kind of you know middle stage bef uh, between the meeting performed and the deal closed. So the deal closed is actually going to be the last stage. Sometimes it can be a one stage or sometimes it can be a last stage as well. Going back to our deals. So once again, you can um, see all of the prospects in the first lead-in stage. Now to get one prospect or let's say several prospects to another stage, you can either just manually drag and drop the deal to any kind of other stage. If you can see, I'm just moving it from one stage to another. Or if it, let's say, if it's a group of the prospects that you want to update and keep them into the different stage of the sales line, sales pipeline, then you can move to the deals, to the view for deals in the list, select them, and then use this, this button, move, and then just move to another stage. Let's say they're going to be on demo schedule stage, and then just click save. There you go. So once again, coming into the pipeline view, if you can see here, we have active, all of the active deals, all of the lost deals and all of the one deals. So in active status, we will have all of the deals together with one and lost. On the one stage, we will have only the deals that was one and basically how we can keep, uh, how we can, um, drag, let's say, the deal to the one status is that we just have to put them here in the one. So as easy as it is, now it's in the one stage. And then once you're going inside of the deal, you have some more additional information where you can put some value. So for example, we can put here $1,000. And then save. And by the central part, you can see that you can add some notes and actually automatically you will see all of the activities that was done with this deal. And basically those notes will be able to see to all of your team members as well. Going back, so now we have a search bar where you can easily search for any kind of deal by just putting the first name and last name of the contact. You also have a summary of all your win one deals and all your deals that was won as well. Going back into our stages. So I just wanted to show you how, um, for example, if you add the lead to the CRM system with just a quick add here. So first of all, you will need to insert the prospect name. Let's say it's going to be the same John. And you will have a drop down list, which is basically telling you maybe you want to add the prospect which is already existing on the prospect list. So this is going to be easier for you and you can just use it as a shortcut, for example. Let me just select this one, for example, and then click save. Yeah, so we have a deal. We have the deal created date. We have all of the name of the person. Now we are going inside of the deal. And here we can just see some more information. From the top part, you can see that we can add a tag to this prospect. We can change their sales stages. We can add some information right here. Let's say I just want to change the value of the deal. And then we can also see where this prospect is saved from the prospect list. Going back to our main pipeline view. So if the deal was one, we can just move it to the one bar. And now we can select the one status. And here it is. The deal was $80. And we can see that it's going to be two deals. Right now I have two of them. So one for $1,000 and one for $80. Bear in mind that if you can see this red warning sign, it says no prospect attached. This means that probably this deal was created by the quick add, by the button here, and we do not have any kind of prospect attached from the prospect list. And going back into the prospect list, actually, so my recommendation for you, if you are creating new contact on the CRM stage and you do not have any kind of email address, let me just show you how it will work. So let's say I'm creating the same John without any kind of email. 
and I'm creating that to another list. Let's say it's going to be this one. It will show you in the prospect list the same prospect, but with confined email sign. So that's how you can see that there is no email attached. And basically, you can just search for the email using our own tools. Coming back into our CRM system. So hopefully all of your deals will be closed. So you will have all of the deals in your one status. And here is how you can keep a track of them in the right hand side corner. And I guess basically that's it that I wanted to show you today. So let me know if you have any questions right now regarding our CRM system. And just now, while you will be asking me any kind of questions in the comments, I just want to sum up a little bit this video. So what I wanted and what I really wanted to try to show you is that basically our CRM system is very easy to use. You do not need any kind of tech personnel to teach your team to use it. You do not need any kind of complex skin to understand how it works. It's very easy to use. It's very clean so that you can keep a track of all of your leads. Just to add a little bit more. So now if you're already on Snowvio platform, you know that you can do the lead generation with the help of our own tools. You can do the verification of the email as well. And then you can do the email cold outreach outbound campaign. And you see that the missing puzzle that we basically were missing for so many time is the CRM system. So right now you have a chance to try the CRM system to kind of keep all of your leads and all of your sales deals into one place. So you will have that, you will have the access for all of your team for that, and you will basically just save the time for your sales team, for your marketing teams, whoever is going to be dealing with the platform. They, It's very easy to deal with, with that, and it's very easy to keep the track of all of your leads and all of your deals. Let's have a look at the questions that we have right now. So, Okay, so I have a question and it's a really good one. How much is your CRM system? That's a very good question because this is going to be the main question from all of our clients. You know, they already want to know how much it will cost for them, for their teams, you know, because this is a very essential part for every company to have a CRM system. So the best part of our CRM system is actually that it will be included in your plans for our existing clients on the premium plan, but it also going to be included in the freemium plan. So even if you are using the free plan, you have a chance to try, to try and test our platform and then make a decision if you are going with any kind of premium version or if you are staying with the free version. We do not have any kind of limitation in terms of um, maximum deal number or, for example, let's say um, maximum deal stages. So you can use it, you can test it. And only then you can make a decision if you want to proceed to the premium plan. So the answer is um, the price is going to be included so the CRM system is going to be included in your price, even in the free plan. I bet everybody is exciting right now. Okay, so the next question, what kind of information would be there in the prospect deals? Yeah, so this is the good question because we all want to enrich our deals. We all want to keep all of the information for the leads or for the deals in the same place. So the essential information is going to be, of course, in your, in your deal, such as the name of the prospect. So it's going to be the first name and last name. It's going to be the value of the deal. It's going to be the email and then it's going to be where this um, prospect is actually located in your prospect list. But here's some hint to this part. So you can enrich your data, you can put some more data, and you can customize this data as well. 
In the prospect list, you have tags. So those tags you can add also in the deal stages. And basically, whichever information you want to put, you will be able to do that. Just bear in mind that this is just the first stage of the CRM. So whichever fields you can see, they're already available. However, it's going to be adding some more web time. So just bear with us. OK, so the next question is going to be. Okay, so uh, one more question. So if you are finding the prospects using our own tools, will it be possible to create the deal in the CRM system? Yes, it's going to be possible. Either you can just add them as a bulk prospect list or you can just add them manually. But definitely, whatever you will be searching and finding through using our own tools, it can be added to the CRM system as well. And I will tell you more if you have your own list of the prospects, you can upload it also to our new prospect list. And then from the new prospect list, create the new deal um, for, uh, for the prospects that you already have. So it doesn't really matter for us if you have already the list or if you will find the list, you will still get a chance to get all of them into our new CRM system. All right, so all of the rest of the questions, we will be waiting for you um, to write in the comments and then we will be replying to you. Or you can actually ask any kind of question to our customer support chat, which is located on the platform, which is easily available for everyone, regardless if you are using premium plan or the free plan. Um, honestly, it was my pleasure to take you through the CRM system. I'm excited as much as you are because we will be using our CRM system for us as well, for our sales team. And we are quite excited to get everything really in one place. So, so thank you very much for your attention today. It was my pleasure. If you have any kind of questions, you can just leave them on the comments below. Thank you. Goodbye.